Okay, lesson 5.3, applications of percent, and how do you use percents to solve problems? Well, we're going to go with finding the total cost, sales tax, which is the tax of an item, uh, of an item for, or service, oh my god, which is tax on a sale of an item or service? It's a percent of the purchase price that is collected by the seller. You ever notice that when you buy something, maybe a Target or something, and it says $4.99, $4.99, and you end up, they say, they don't say it's $4.90 when you're at the checker. They call it, uh, I don't know, $5.12 or 11 cents or something like that. Well, what they did is they added a sales tax to that, and that's a percentage of the item that you're buying. It's a set percentage. So let's go here for an example. Uh, Marcus buys a var varsity jacket from a clothing store in Anaheim. Hey, that's close by. Uh, the price of the jacket is 80 bucks and the sales tax is 8%. So we have to, what is the total cost of the jacket? Well, we have to find 8% of 80. Well, first off, for that, here's a bar model. 80 bucks. This represents 8% of that. 80 bucks here and we have to tack this on to the end here this is they pay the total thing plus that eight percent so eight percent is oh look at this eight percent is four-fifths of ten percent okay the tax is four-fifths of one part of the whole bar okay sounds good the tax is four-fifths of one part okay Aha, uh -huh. one part. This is four fifths. And notice how it's not all the way there. They're saying this represents 10%, and this right here represents, well, as they say, 8%. And that is almost there. And uh, 8 tenths simplifies to four fifths, so that's where they're getting this from. Okay, each part of the whole bar is $8. Hmm. Okay. I normally would do it slightly different. I would find 8% of 80. So 8% 8 is 0 0.08 uh, times 80. 8% hmm. 8 8 of 80. This is not going to go the way I think it's going to go. Oh, no, 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 right here. $6.40. Yeah, good. So uh, 0 0.08 times 80 is uh, what? 80 times 0 0.08. 064, move the decimal two times over and uh, move it over 6.4. There you go. I did it a little bit differently because I just take 0 0.08 times 80 and I get $6.40. That is the amount of the sales tax. But that's not the final answer because we have to find the final cost right here. So uh, the jacket price plus the sales tax is $86.40. You add the sales tax. Okay, now here is another one. Sharon wants to buy a shirt that costs $20 and the sales tax 5%. How much is the sales tax? Well, you take 5% of $20 and 5% is 0 0.05 as a decimal. Multiply them together and you get a buck. So what's the sales tax? It's buck. What's the total cost? It's the $20 plus the buck, 21 bucks. Finding simple interest. When you deposit money into a savings account, your money usually earns interest. When you borrow money, you must pay back the original amount of the loan plus the interest. So let's say you borrow, I don't know, 100 bucks from the bank. They want their 100 bucks back, but they're going to say, you got to pay a percentage of that $100 too. And that percentage is that interest. So simple interest is a fixed amount of the principal. The principal is what you start with. It's the original amount of money you deposited into the bank or the original amount of money that you borrowed from the bank. Terry deposited 200 bucks into a bank account that earns 3% simple interest per year. The total amount, what is the total amount in the account after two years? Well, we need to find what we see that, uh, we find the amount of interest earned in one year and calculate that for two years. So 3% as a decimal is 0 0.03. So that 0 0.03 times the our deposit of $200, that means interest earned for one year is six bucks. That $6, we have to figure out, that's for one year, but we need two years. 
So we multiply it by two and we get 12 bucks. How much is in the account? Well, you started with 200 bucks, but you earn $2 in uh, $12 in interest for a total of $212 in the account. Okay. Write an expression you could use to find the total amount in Terry's account. Well, it's $200 plus the $200 times 3% or 0 0.03 times two, because there's two years. There you go. And in this, the order of operations say you have to do this first and then you get to add it to 200. Okay. We have, uh, our REN borrows $400 for a four year loan. She's charged 5% simple interest per year. How much interest is she charged for four years? And what is the total she has to pay back? Well, first off, let's find out 5% of $400, 5% of $400. You have to multiply those two together and we have to do that for four years. So I multiplied it by four, 400 times 0 0.05 times four, that ends up being $80. So there's my $80 in interest. And the total that has to be back, paid back is the amount she borrowed $400 plus the $80 in interest for a total of $480. Uh, using multiple percents in some situations require applying more than one percent to a problem for example when you dine in a restaurant you might pay tax on the meal and pay a tip to the wait staff the tip is usually paid on the amount before tax and when you pay tax on a sale item you pay tax only on the discounted price okay this is good information here our example here, the Sanchez family goes out to dinner and the price of the meal is 60 bucks. The sales tax on the meal is 7% and they also wanna leave a 15% tip. What is the total cost of the meal? Okay, in, important information. They told us meal 60 bucks, sales tax is 7%, which is 0.07 as, as a decimal. The tip is 15%, which is 0.15 as a decimal. In each case, we're moving the decimal two times to the left to find the decimal equivalent. So total cost will be the sum of the bill of the meal, the sales tax and the tip. Our plan is we're going to calculate the sales tax separately, then calculate the tip and then add the products of the bill for the meal to find the total. So for the sales tax, 7% of multiply 60 bucks for that, uh, that meal, $4 20 cents for the tax, the tip 15% of the bill, which is $9. So we have our $60 meal. The sales tax we saw was $4.20 and our tip was $9. And when we add all, all three items, to get, items together, we get $73.20, which is the total cost. And justify and evaluate. So we're gonna make sure our answer is right. Estimate the sales tax and tip. Sales tax is about 10%. Well, let's see, it's 7%, 10% is overestimating but it's close plus 15% for tip, which gives us 25% altogether. Find 25% of the bill. Well, 25% of 60, you know, when I think of 25%, 25% right here, 25% is 25 out of 100, which simplifies to one fourth and one fourth is a quarter of it. If you divide it by four, that's a fourth of something. So if I take this, uh, 60 and divided by four, that is 15. And add this to the bill. So $60 plus $15 is 75 bucks. So the bills should be about 75 bucks. And it is, we calculate exactly at 7320. So yes, our answer makes sense. Okay. In our your turn question, Kedar, I believe, earns a monthly salary of $2,200 plus a 3.75% commission. A commission is a, it's an incentive for salespeople. They say anything you, the boss will say anything you sell, will give you a percentage of your sales. So the more you sell, the more you make. He gets 3.75% of his sales. And a plus 
they give them a salary. So the salary set, no matter what happens, no matter what, how little you sell or how much you sell, you're, st you're still going to get the $2,200. But we're going to give you a little kicker right here, and we're going to give you an incentive to sell. But we're not going to totally punish you and at least give you $2,200. So one month he sold $4,500 uh, in clothing. What's his commission? Well, he gets 3.75% of the sales. So that's 3.75% is the same as 0 0.0375. And we multiply that by 4,500. So that means his commission is $168.75. Now he gets $2,200 no matter what, plus his commission gives us a total of $2,368.75. That is how much he earns right there. And that's what you got to know.